Welcome to Tantrum House Studio D. I'm Kevin Delp. And I'm Melissa Delp. Today we're looking at Speak Easy Blues by Artana Games. Easy Blues is a two to four player dice placement worker management game from the same designers as Sagrada, that dice placement where you're trying to make your own stained glass windows. Speak Easy Blues will be on Kickstarter from October 24th through November 16th. It's set in the 1920s Prohibition era New York, and you're trying to run the best Speak Easy, the best gin joint. So let's look at the prototype components. You have the game board and player boards. 10 custom dice in five colors, some cards, tokens, and player aids. At the beginning of each round, an event may be activated, something like everyone gets reputation or everyone gets some hooch. On your turn, you take two dice of a matching color off the board, roll them, and then add them to the pool of dice beside the board. Then you get to pick two dice of a matching color and place them one at a time on the main board, these are your two main actions for your turn. The actions you can perform are thematic to this speakeasy culture. You can increase your collection, gain friends in society, get some hooch, gain favors, gather police or gangsters, or utilize jazz tokens that either double your action or change your die to another face. You can also host your own soiree, this could increase your reputation and your cash box. You'll be getting cards from a lot of these locations and they go right into your speakeasy. These could have immediate benefits like Elizabeth Arden, she gives you $3, or actions you can activate once per turn like Douglas Fairbanks, he can give you three reputation if you spend a dollar. Some of the cards also help you with end game points. If you stack collection cards with the same icon, and end with one of those icons on top, you can score some big points. When you get a card from the crime section, you play that card face down. It could be a gangster or a cop. Gangsters are a way to interact with other players, basically hurting them and helping you. But players can protect their speakeasy if they reveal a cop that was face down. At the end of the 10th round, players count up their points. You earn them from having the most icons that match the contests, from having favor tokens, having collections, having a good reputation, and even for the money and hooch in your speakeasy. One of the things I like are the favor spots. You play your die, get a favor token, and you get some money based on the spot where you play your die, which changes each round because it's based on the event that's currently on that round. So each round's a different event. You get different types of money if you play it there. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, I actually like the way you use dice in this game. The fact that you have to use two of the same color means that you might not always get both of your favorite actions. There's also the aspect of taking dice off the board, so you probably want to open up some spaces where you want to take those actions, but then you are dependent on rolling those icons. Now, the symbols could already be in the dice pool, so you could try to use those, or get some extra jazz tokens and use those to actually change the face of the die to the one you want. Right, so there are some options and some strategy built in. The illustrations and graphic design fit this speakeasy world well with an art deco feel. You even have your own speakeasy that you can play up throughout the game. We didn't even mention that each speakeasy has its own asymmetrical starting resources. So in our first game, we did have a little bit of trouble. or It just took a little time to understand all of the icons in the game, and we did have to go back to the reference sheet several times to figure out some of the card powers. It is a prototype. Right. And Artana, I believe, is working on that, making mm -hmm. them a little clearer. And once we got over that initial language barrier, the game ran much smoothly, more smoothly, and we were able to understand things. I would say that this game definitely has a engine building oh, aspect yeah. to it because <laughs> you need to be able to have a way to make money so then you can That's buy cards really and things. But you also need to be able to increase your reputation because yeah. a lot of those spaces decrease it. And once you're at your end, <laughs> you can't take any more, hardly any actions unless you can get that reputation, reputation mm -hmm. back up. 
So you definitely have to think about how am I going to generate those things throughout the game. And if you go too heavy on those point cards, the collections too early in the game, then you won't really have space for some of those other cards that actually have powers that are helpful during the middle of the game. I totally agree. So if you like dice uh, worker placement games or like the speakeasy theme, then check out Speakeasy Blues by Artana on Kickstarter.